Engineers for Overseas Development is a charitable company that was set up 17 years ago to challenge young professionals from the civil engineering industry to enhance their training by going over and building projects in sub-Saharan Africa. So the last 18 years, the volunteers have built significant projects for some of the poorest in society in Uganda, the Gambia and in Ghana. It all started as an institution of civil engineers lecture in Cardiff in February 2000 when Colin McCubbin, a civil engineer who was working for Mercy Ships um, as a civil engineer installing latrines, came to talk to us about the work he did. And during the lecture he gave us a challenge, would we go to Africa and build some latrines in Banjol in the Gambia? Well, six youngsters volunteered, we raised some funds, they raised funds for the trips for the, to pay for themselves, and they went out in pairs over a period of 10 weeks to, lo to hire local labour, to buy materials, to supervise construction, to commission. And that's how EFOD began. It's since migrated to form six branches throughout the UK, but all aligned to the Institute of Civil Engineers regional offices and to their graduate and students network uh, with whom they link. So as the charity grew, we registered as an independent charitable company run by fellows of the institution to enhance the training of young graduates, technicians and apprentices who work in the civil engineering industry. In the early days, EFOG concentrated on sanitation and water supply and four referral hospitals in Uganda benefit from waste incinerators and waste management plans to deal with the multitude of waste that they produce. In 2010, Engineers for Overseas Development, the Cardiff branch, opened a 16-room medical centre in Soroti to provide low-cost medical treatment for the people of the town. And in 2012, the same team developed an orphanage for 83 street children uh, for somewhere to live and to be educated and homed. Between 2009 and 2016, groups from Manchester, Birmingham, and Carmarthen developed grain stores and grinding machines for 270 widows and women in cooperatives to provide food security for them during times of drought and lack of rain. In 2013, EFOD Bristol opened a sewing school in Ghana for um, a trading centre for ladies who needed vocational skills. And in 2015, EFOD Cardiff refurbished a borehole and provided a solar pump to lift water from 40 metres down into tanks to provide water for 4,000 people and up to 10,000 cattle in times of severe drought. And in 2016, EFOD Manchester completed a building to accommodate training and a creche for women and medical testing facilities for them. And towards the end of 2017, we've just opened a new maternity facility comprising two delivery suites and a 10-bed ward for a 60,000 community in Kachimbala. Sustainability is the core of all we do. We make blocks using locally rising marrow mixed with cement, which we press to form uh, accurate bricks and can be laid with minimum mortar. We adopt passive ventilation to cool the buildings in a very hot climate in Africa. We use rainwater harvesting to catch water from roofs and reduce the amount of water we consume from the mains where it's available. And if we're able to, we sink a borehole before work starts so we can provide water for building and leave the legacy of a borehole supplying the local community. Regular monitoring by EFOD senior staff is necessary to make sure all we build survives and manages to run. We were able to maintain it and ensure it's well used. And evaluations we've undertaken verify that the lot of those who are using them has improved as a response to our work. Over 300 young civil engineers, technicians and apprentices, together with many from the industry, architects, mechanical, electrical engineers and ecologists, have joined in and visited Africa for periods of up to two weeks to help supervise construction and learn from so doing. They've learned leadership skills and management, budgetary control and how to commission a new build. Funding for the schemes comes from the industry, their co the corporate social responsibility budgets and for fundraising by the volunteers who have cycled the length of Wales, run marathons, undertaken tough muggery events, 
all to raise money, turning over something of the order of £100,000 a year. The response of the 300 volunteers has been quite remarkable. Many people in Uganda, in Ghana, in the Gambia, have been helped by the work of engineers for overseas development. The work has been truly remarkable, it made a great change to many people's lives. So if you want to be involved, just look at www.efod.org.uk and you see the kind of work we do and you see the kind of schemes we're planning to do in the future. Do call us, we'd like to hear from you.